Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to Eric Dandy, Vinland Saga. Tonight we're in Season 2, Episode 2. Um, so, what happened on Episode 1? A phenomenal question. So glad you asked. Um, We met a new, like, main character-esque level character of Einar, um, and he suffered. That's basically the big thing. Um, Let me really quick full screen this. Okay, there we go. So, yes, Einar. Um, he lived with his family, his uh, sister and mother, and was resolving himself partially to defend the household and all that, despite just being like a humble farmer dude. Um, and then, you know, raiders show up, kill his mom, and then kind of due to the shock of that and being unable to process that, sister dies as well, and then he gets enslaved. And it's just basically completely horrible and terrible. Um, which, I, you know, I really do appreciate that we actually got to see, like, the perspective of a slave in this. Because, like, they're, like my two favorite things in season one were Thorfinn as a whole. Like, Thorfinn's entire arc and, like, entire character is, like, the biggest draw for me. But I really have find, found myself interested in the slaves whenever a slave character is brought up every single time. And they ne I feel like they never quite give... Like, I wish they were there was more each time, you know? So with Einar, at least we're getting to see, like a lot more of that slave life. Because it's such a thing that's reoccurring in the show. Oh yeah, and then um, man shows up. Balding man. Uh, Leif Erikson, there you are. Yeah, Leif Erikson shows up. Yeah, all that. Um, And I'm just thinking back to, you know, like Thorfinn on the boat and then the slave girl like brings him food. Um, and that's the biggest one. There's slaves like all the time, you know? Um, And then he gets bought by this dude, farmer dude, who I'll get to in a second about his identity, because, you know, uh, it's something we gotta talk about there. Um, and then brought to a farm, you know, of course, flashbacks to his family, kind of some um, visual parallels to the Vinland with Thors, um, especially with the, the, like, fields of grain. That's, like, that was a visual uh, thing done a lot in season... Or not a lot. Well, yeah, a decent amount in season one when, like, depicting the Vinland, which then, of course, is where Thorfinn is set up shop. So, what's up, Thorfinn? So glad you're back. But, um, I mean, that makes sense. Like, that's what Thorfinn, like, I think is pursuing as, like, a place of healing, maybe, or something. But, but, so, originally, when I when I watched episode one, I thought this dude was one of the brothers with Askeladd. You know what I'm talking about? Like, the two brothers? I don't think, I think that's wrong. Because a couple of people in the comments are like, man's really thought this was the, the Askeladd guy. You know what? And so what I did is I pulled up the freaking episode episode i went to through season one and i found them here they are you see them wait let me full screen this hoe okay where's like a good shot of them thorfinn's just this season one episode like 18 i think 20 oh wow okay episode 20 this is after yeah there they are these two so memorize their faces right especially guy on the left guy on the left got that this thingy and then the blonde hair Right, that matches the this thingy, the like beard, whatever beard thing. They're two brothers, right? And then that guy lost his memories as two. That was like his entire thing. He got brain wiped because of um the pressure from Thorkel. So I was thinking like, okay, is that the same guy? And then Askeladd gives this guy, the other brother, like some treasure and said, raise some sheep, get a wife, never pick up a sword again. Have a kid and die in your bed. And I don't honestly, like he takes it, right? Like I think that's just the end of their story. With the brothers. Yeah. So what I was thinking, what I was thinking was that this dude was the first one just growing up a bit. Because he's got the same must brush, um, beard mustache combo. And he's got the, the, a similar backed hair. It's just a different shade. It's a different shade than um, the brothers. And he's got the full side chops as well, like connecting to the sideburns. So... Not the same guy, but the visuals were kind of close, and man's lost his memory, plus time skip diff, plus he was told to raise sheep. You know what I'm saying? But no, not the same guy. Would have been cool, though. That would have been a cool development, would it not? Would it not? But no. So, um, I think this guy's name is Keto, right? Um, and then Thorfinn, my Thor loved, shows up. End of episode, ED... Good stuff. It's just... I think that's next episode stuff, which we're about to watch. So yeah, honestly, let's just jump into episode two. I'm a little late on this episode because I'm trying to watch these when they come out, right? 
Um, episode three still hasn't come out, but it comes out tomorrow. Or actually in two days. It, it comes out Monday for me, based on my time zone, and currently it's Saturday night. So, you know, I'm a little late to it, but you know what? We made it here, and that's what really matters. Of course, we are drinking the Lemon Lime Gatorade. Because, you know, hydration's important, I guess. Um, Lemon Lime is actually underrated, too. You know, piss, piss Gatorade. Okay, episode two. Let's get it going. In three, two, one. Bang! <clears throat> This intro, man, actually gives me nostalgia. It was also fun because I was having to scroll through a lot of season one to try to find that um that thing I just pulled up, right? Um, and so it's fun to like relive some of those moments. I like rewatched the Thorfinn fight, the Thorfinn uh, Thorkel fight. Good stuff. Okay. I love this OP too. It's so good. Hmm. I love that animation with the, the hands coming out. How it's like, it's almost like oil. So good. And then the blood turning to the blood crown. Oh, you know what I meant to do? I don't know if I'll do it this episode. I'm def I might do it next episode. Um, dang. Canute drip. No, but, um, rewatch the Canute, um speech about love because that's definitely important and that's definitely like probably the th main thematic or like one of the really big thematic elements you know in the show um like definitely right and i kind of want to just like refresh all those ideas along with the thor's like no one is my enemy stuff from like episode like two or three or whatever like getting both of those a refresher course would probably be good because again season one was a while back Wait, I'm actually so excited. Okay, calm down. Ketil's farm. I wonder what Thorfinn is to Keto. Yeah, what do you see it as, Keto? Ah, a place to conquer with my wheat. It's mine. Wait, but he's your slave. You'll buy yourselves back. Yourselves, plural. So they're both slaves. But they can buy our they can buy their freedom with their labor. Though, I mean, come on. How much are, am I really going to trust you, Keto? Like, are you going to really buy it at a, at, at a fair price? You know? He's like right up. Yeah, Einar's here for it. He knows how to do that. Petter. I'm gonna write down like every name because I'm so bad with names. I became a free. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. He said he became a free man. Oh, my phone's trying to turn off because it's on low power mode. Okay, fixed. Need my notes, baby. Dorfin said I am out.
Man, Thorfinn's deep in thought. He's trying so hard to do this icebreaker right now. Oh, yeah, okay. He got something, though. Oh my goodness. The entire walk we just did, we're cutting it all down. What are we gonna do with all the wood? Thorfinn really is deciding to start at the uh, edge though and work his way in. I would, I would start in, work my way out, right? Cause you don't wanna be dragging logs. Well, unless you can just leave the logs there. I guess you can just leave the logs there. In which case, you know, why not? Einar, you goof. I thought you were a farmer. Well, I guess he hasn't done this necessarily. He just plucked wheat. Hmm. Okay, no. Thorfinn, Thorfinn thought ahead. That's smart. Yeah, float him down the river. Good point. Gotta catch our own food. That'd be that'd be something. Oh, we get lunch. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh no. Okay, no, they bring. Okay, I thought Thorfinn was gonna say no. We have to go get it ourselves or something, right? Ooh, got a got a girl. Einar, why do you look so happy? Yeah. Okay, don't bully him, please. He's trying his best. Oh no, is that it? What is that? One bread. Half a bread and a cheese. No, they fed him well back at the, uh, where he was kept. Because they wanted to fat him up to make him look good, right? Get his value up. Dang. Now you gotta like damage your pride a little bit, yeah. Thorfinn, Thorfinn, please clutch. Thorfinn's kind of enlightened. Not quite, but like, he's going down that path, you know? I don't know if it's like, well, I don't know if it's like apathy. I don't know. He's got a lot going on in there. I just think he doesn't, he doesn't want to fight. He's done with all the fighting, you know? So he's okay with just rolling over a little bit here and there. No, 
We're about to talk about it. Okay. Oh, this poor Horus. I mean, Thorfinn's got at least three horsepower in him, right, Loki? <laughs> Man's strong. Oh, a root. Good stuff. Ooh, okay. Why was I actually holding my breath? But I mean, that's like one down, right? Only many hundred more to go. They ate your lunch. What are you gonna complain to your your slave master? Okay, no, you're just comparing. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah, that's that, like, I mentioned apathy kind of thing. Poor guy. No, okay, yeah. G gonna complain to your slave master. Yeah. I think Thorfinn could just leave if he wanted. I mean, if he really wanted to, what are they going to do? Stop him? I mean, it's Thorfinn. But he, you know, he doesn't want to fight. Like, he, he's done with that. Oh, I know. Gorgeous woman. Wait. Explain yourself, Einar. Is it just because she's hot? I also... I have trouble telling the characters apart. I feel like I recognize her, but maybe I'm tripping. Who is this woman? Is it just because she's attractive? Einar. Thorfinn. Thorfinn? Thorfinn? <laughs> they were just both standing there. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, no, no. I think it's just some woman. Okay. I think it's just some woman. Surely, right? Dude, I swear, if that's like Thorfinn's like... There's no way it's like Thorfinn's mom. She's way too old. She doesn't look that. No, she doesn't look like that. It doesn't look like Thorfinn's sister, because Thorfinn's sister had a recognizable face. So it's neither of them. It's just some woman. Surely. It just caught Einar's attention. That's all. She had that, um, that, like, bushy, blonde eye thing, which is something we've seen with, like, a couple of the women before. Wait, squad...
That's so fun. Is it his family? Family and like, maybe like brother and like all that kind of stuff. Brother and brother's family. Or maybe home, homeboy of uh, pater. Or maybe more slaves too, like mixed in a little bit. I, th I think he only has those two, right? We'll see. No, nah, there's a lot of people. That's wise, actually. That's a good line. We all look the same when we're working. Olmar. What's up, Olmar? I'm writing your name down. Don't click your tongue at him. Oof, good point. Man, it's just lazy. <laughs> Whoa, careful. Yeah, come on, man. You'll crush the ears of the wheat. Is that a uh, son, maybe? Yeah, okay. Master's son. Come Omar, come on. If you could do the job, do it right. What else are you gonna do, be a slave? What else are you gonna do? You wanna go become a warrior? You wanna go fight? You'll die, okay? You'll die. No, okay. Okay, dude. Yeah, back sheath, huh? You like your back sheath? What you got, like a extendo, extendo arm? Oh look, I now got to talk to a random person. Aren't back sheets like actually like not the move for this that exact reason? I feel like I've I've heard people uh, criticize the use of back sheets in like media because of that. Man just thinks it looks cool. Though I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. Probably depends on like a lot of factors. Or like length of the blade, blah 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 blah, right? Oh, he's got a woman. Prince Canute's army? Oh, Prince Canute. Like a moth to the flame. He's like a moth to the flame. A moth to the flame of war. Think about it. Who's this woman, though? He missed the moth. Yeah, don't kill a random moth. It's just mothin, man. King Harald. And he called him Prince Canute, you know. Aww. She's being sweet. Be nice to her. She wants another round too. Okay, dude. Your own daughter? Can we kill this guy? Oh, she's trying to ensnare him to get the rights to the farm. That's why he's so proud, right? Yeah, okay. She, he literally told her, you know, ensnare young master, use your looks. He's not being creepy. Okay, that's... It didn't work.
Omar too slick with it. Women are rotten. Omar. Omar, don't take the black pill, Omar. Oh no, what happened to her? Is she okay? What are y'all drunkards doing? Omar's like, I found my people. A bunch of drunk people in a field. Right? <laughs> okay. Imagine there's like, I feel like something bad's gonna happen. That's what season one did to me. Bad things happen so often. So I, I'm curious. Oh, they're trampling the wheat. Man's hot headed, but I could I could see him get him better. He's no lost cause, not even close, right? Don't worry about it. Hey, pass him it. Pass him the drink. Are they trying to do the same thing? No, they're drunk. They're they're being they're being real. Or that. Well, all bark, no bite. Oh, Thorfinn. Maybe not? Oh, Thorfinn, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I can agree with you on this, Einar, but you saying that to Thorfinn says it, you know. Oh, wow. Thorfinn's not trying to mess with that right now. Lost your father the first time, right? Yeah. Oh, that poor sister. I feel so bad for that sister character. That got him to open his eyes, yeah. Oof. Beasts wearing human skin. That line is really crazy. Yeah, he might have watched that exact one. Yeah, I forgot. Young Thorfinn might have been there for that. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. Dang. Crazy thing is Thorfinn's been, like... He's killed so many people, right? And he's been... He hasn't really been part of those raids, though. I feel like he would kind of just, like, watch... Right? I don't really remember. Like, he never, like, helped kill civilians, as far as I recall. But, I mean, he was still there. And he still, like, watched it happen. Though, to be fair, like, with Oscalot, I feel like... At least in the, kind of, the last couple times... 
Ocelot is doing it out of, like, strategic moves as opposed to just greed, but he did it for greed a lot of times, too. So, yeah. Also, the whole, like, King Harald, Prince Canute thing, that's something to be keeping in mind for sure. Yeah, and the names without love. I mean, I gotta, I gotta revisit the the love themes of this show for sure. I'll probably do that next episode so I can get all the stuff queued up correctly. Oh, that brotherhood. Thorfinn is so done with this guy though. Oh wait, what's happening? Are they training Snake? I think that's. Omar. Omar's trying to get ready for war because he wants to prove himself instead of being in his father's shadow and all that. Which, I mean, like, fair enough, but... I don't know. The line... There's a line here that I really like. The um, beast in human skin. They claimed they were saving us from the tyranny of the King of England. But no, they were just killing everyone. Surely that was... um. With the way they did it with Thorfinn, surely that was the one that Thorfinn watched when he was like six or five or I don't know how old he was, like seven or eight or something. Yeah, they're beasts wearing human skin. See, I would I would differ slightly. Like, I totally get the idea and I'm totally behind the idea. But like my perspective on this isn't that they're beasts wearing human skin, but rather that humans just are beasts, right? Because um, it's not like... it's. Humans are horrible. Humans are the ones that are causing this, right? So to, to try to say that they're not human because of the atrocities they've committed, as if, like, as if committing atrocities doesn't make you human, I mean, I would say that committing atrocities is part of what humans do. Like, that is that's is one of the things that makes people human, is being horrible monsters, right? And it's not every human. But, I mean, the human capacity for cruelty is just very large, I would argue. Um, where, like, I mean, animals, right? Animals just are eating the... Uh, not a lot of them. I mean, I think some of them I've seen animals doing, like, some stuff. But, like, th since they're such a lower, like, sentient cognition level, whatever, right? They're not nearly as smart as humans. A lot of what they do is just to, like, propagate and do their thing, like, as they're coded. But humans, I mean, you don't need to torture somebody for fun, but people still torture people for fun, right? Or, like pillage the village for greed. I mean, you don't see um, a bird pillaging a snake's village. No, the bird just eats the snake and is donezo. And, like, the only... The comparison I'd make to animals, like, I feel like kind of is a little hard because um, I am aware of, like, monkey... Or, like, ape. Like, apes will, like, form their tribes or whatever and then clash, or, like, in the same way that, like, wolf packs. Like, they, they'll, like animals group up as well and then clash. I just don't... It lacks that, like, human cruelty aspect because they, they aren't aware of, like, really what's going on as well. Or nearly as well. Like, it's almost hard. It's, like, almost incomparable just, like, off, off the rip. Um, but, yeah. Humans are horrible, basically. And so to just say that the the cruelty is from being a beast and that's, like, you're masquerading as a human? No, I, I mean, I'd rather just admit that humans are, are cruel monsters that hurt people for for fun sometimes and hurt people for greed and hurt people for all the wrong reasons because there are there are fine reasons to hurt people i mean i'm not going to say that pacifism is always the move um because you know some people just need to be stopped right but yeah all all the things that he's complaining about i would i wouldn't like to just pin on on beast beasthood unless you want to like yeah i don't i don't like deifying the human or whatever putting the human on like a pedestal or humanity on a pedestal this entire thing, though. But yeah, crazy for Einar to say he doesn't know war to uh, Thorfinn. It's like, okay, as if you know war, Einar. Like, you haven't been in war, though I do understand that you've seen it twice. So yeah, you do got some of that experience, but... I mean, Thorfinn's the guy that knows it best out of, like, everybody that we've seen in the season up to this point, right? I mean, surely. Um, it was King Harald, right, is what, I, what was said. I if Was it... I'm pretty sure it was. Uh, Prince Canute and King Harald. I'm gonna, yeah, it's like right here. 
so bad. Pulls the sword, can't even get it out of the sheath. You're already dead at this point. An arrow has entered your neck. <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> at least practice that on your own. And then this random girl. It's like, hey, Einar, what, what is he doing? It's actually pretty funny. It's so goofy. But it's like, dude, you're gonna hurt somebody with your incompetence. You're gonna hurt somebody. Hmm. And it's like an ego. There's like an ego thing going on, right? Um, Because, you know, Olmar here is being driven by his ego to want to go off to war and prove himself instead of living in his father's shadow and just doing all the, the easy living. Um, same thing, like, Einar is was originally like holding out on his pride, like for not being, a, like for fighting back and being a slave, being defiant would be a good way to put it. Um, I mean, that's an ego thing as well. Like he doesn't want to let go of that thing. It's not like me saying ego, that kind of has a negative connotation, but like, I mean, I totally understand where he's coming from. And I, I, I mean, to not want to bow to somebody else is a pretty fair response. Um, however, it is still like, the, his holding of this is probably just going to bring him more pain. But at the same time, like, if you really want to, like, draw your line in the sand there, I mean, it's your own life. Do whatever you want. Though, I mean, it's going to pull Thorfinn into some business, but, you know, I don't know. This woman, yeah, she's got that. They do this, this the, their stylization where their eyelashes are, like, colored blonde with the, with the like, blue eyes. I mean, it just reminds me of, like, Canute, because Canute looks like that. And then, I don't have... Well, I kind of have season one up, actually. Let me really quick just get a peek at Thorfinn family just so I can make that little comparison really quick. Um, I don't think it's the same person because it's been such a time skip. She wouldn't look that age at all. Um, but I am curious. Yeah, I mean, like, it's, it's, the, they, it's, the, it's like, similar. In fact, it's... There's no shot, right? There's absolutely no shot. Give me a nice look at the pretty woman. Wait, no shot, right? <laughs> See, that's the problem. Like, I have so much trouble distinguish, di differentiating. You know? I mean, it they kind of look the same, and it'd be, it'd be like maybe a reason why Thorfinn's around. It's just you know what I mean, because they both have the blonde eyelash thing with the blue eyes, like same shade of eyes. Thicker eyebrows, though they thinned a bit, so probably not. Like, I don't think so. And until we get more, I'm not going to say so. But you kind of get what I mean? Where it's like, I keep I keep seeing characters that's like, bro, I swear that's the same one. You know what I'm saying? That's just crazy. Um, This again. It's just crazy. Um, But no, I'm not going to make any assumptions. I'm not going to jump to conclusions. I'm not going to jump to conclusion. That would be a reason, though, for why Thorfinn's uh, here. Is it that he's here because his family's here but that interaction like there wasn't i was i was looking out for it but thorfinn didn't really like make any response to her being there so you know uh probably not anything but we'll pend it's a it's a pending she really said go again though just not because she was into it but because she was trying to seduce him into the into the village or into gaining into being his wife or whatever for village funds or for village luxuries, I and mean, by village I mean farm, right? Um, which yeah, I mean that's just that's just the world, you know. But then immediately Omar goes, "All oh, women are monsters. They only want me for my wealth." It's like yeah, I mean, not all, like obviously, but if in this position, that's probably most of who he's interacting with, right? I don't know. Completely just throwing throwing words at that point. Man, 17, too. I wonder how old Thorfinn is at this point, like, exactly. Because, um, I mean, he's definitely, like, early 20s, late teens-ish. Um, it's hard to tell. But, yeah, I think I think Thorfinn was part of the... That was, like, the first village you watched get wiped, was the Einar village. I, I mean, and so, I mean, we're already sowing conflict between these two, um, between Einar and Thorfinn, because... Einar's super anti people that go to war, calling them, you know, beasts in human skin. And, you know, Thorfinn is coming off of his entire lifetime being exactly that. And while he didn't kill civilians, as far as I recall, he was 
quite efficient and merciless in killing anyone that was an actual soldier that that helped further his own goals, right? He was willing to kill for his goals, like, easily. Um, so, I mean, we're, we're facing a position where Einar's going, like, he's just, like, a cornered animal in a lot of ways, I feel like. Um, and he's probably going to be thrashing around, metaphorically, while Thorfinn is trying to... I think piece by piece reconcile his past. And I, I kind of feel like he's using, like when he said to um to man's like, hey, ch- cut the cut the trees away from me and do them perp- perpendicular to the river. When he said like do it do it away, like do it over there or whatever he said. I mean, that made me think that Thorfinn is using this manual labor as like a meditative a meditative, um, like coping process, and he and that Einar was kind of disturbing that. So he was telling Einar to go away because he wanted his own space to just do the work because honest work chopping trees and being able to just focus on that gives him something to do other than, you know, deal with all the stuff in the past, but not as like an avoidant thing necessarily, but like perhaps as a way to like just have like the mental calm to be able to like parse through it. Though perhaps it's avoidant. We don't, we haven't really seen enough, I, I would say, to know whether he's avoiding his past or whether he's just ha- taking it slow and processing it. Because it's not like that's, like, ev- his entire childhood's not something you can just be like, oh, time to process. Like, a lot happened. A lot happened. Um, but yeah. I'm liking this, I'm liking this so far. Um, because as much as I love the fights of season one, because they had some really good animation and some really good fights, and while they still might do that, I don't know how much they could do that, the the thematic elements, I feel like, have always been really strong. Um, well, I've really liked the thematic elements, but I, I wasn't, like, going crazy with them season one. So I want to use season two as a chance to really, like, go more crazy with them. And I think that's what season two also wants to do. So I'm glad that season two and I are on, like, the same wavelength, I think. Um, you know, pride, war, um, human cruelty in war, beasts in human skin, right? Uh, coping with the past, like trauma, both for somebody that was an active participant, Thorfinn, and for somebody that more so failed out of just being weak, which is Einar. Um, because I do think he has like a weakness thing where like, probably that's probably where like some of his ego comes out of, is he's already like, he feels weak, so he feels the need to lash out to prove his strength. While Thorfinn knows he's strong, but he's, you know, so messed up about everything that's happened that man man doesn't have anything left to prove, right? His entire goal, it's also like his goal was ripped out with Oscalod, right? So he's got nothing to do except just kind of soak in it. Which, I mean, that is what Oscalod's last thing to him was, right? Like, this is now your battle of becoming um like going down the thor's path so i don't know i'm, I'm curious how far he is on that path hopefully we'll, we'll keep getting more of it honestly though, that's all i really got to say about this episode episode two of vinland saga under the next episode three should be exciting whenever it comes out in like a few days and then i'll watch it in a few days and you know what it's gonna be exciting basically pog but yeah that's all i gotta say for this episode on to the next of course if you made this far into the episode i do appreciate it. not that many people do you know eight percent whatever you're here that's what matters i appreciate you for that of course if you like the video like the video subscribe if you're new blah 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 it really helps me out comment down below if you have anything to say or join the discord and talk to me there um but yeah that's all i gotta say for this one i'll be seeing you next time Peace.